One of the ways Chrome OS has changed most in the past year or two is the way that we behave with it when we're using it in tablet mode. So whether it's a convertible device or a tablet or a detachable device, the way that we get around the OS in general has changed quite a bit from that perspective. And today's edition, this new feature that we're seeing in Chrome OS 85 just continues to add to that trend. And so we just want to take a second and show it to you. So as you can see here, I'm in my app launcher and things are paginated the way they normally would be. One of the issues has been with this app launcher, especially when you're just using a tablet only device. So think of the Lenovo Chromebook Duet, for instance. This is what you see when you go home. And while I wish that they would change some of the way that they lay this stuff out, I don't think it's the most attractive thing in the world. One of the issues has been actually moving apps from one page to another. So as you go through to organize your apps, it's kind of a pain in the butt to get them to move from one screen to the next. Well, this new feature has kind of overhauled the way that that looks from a graphic standpoint and a functionality standpoint. So say I go to this first page and I want to move Call of Duty down to the third page. Well, before I would hold it and then move it to the next edge of the screen and just hope that the page moves. But now you can see with this new flag turned on uh, and this feature that's coming in Chrome OS 85 that we actually see these kind of separated pages and you can kind of see this very slight outline around them as we're zoomed out and the pages are smaller. It's so much easier to see what I'm doing. And as soon as I let it go, everything kind of zooms back out. And it's just this nice touch that is gonna make organizing apps in the app tray a ton better. Now, as far as moving things around on the single page, nothing's really changed there except for the fact, again, that it zooms out ever so slightly so that it just is a little bit easier. You're not having to move things so far across the page. But this slight bit of outline is just a nice touch. And again, that zoom in when you let it go is this nice touch that's gonna help, I think, as people move over from something like an iPad or something like that, and start using Chrome OS and tablet mode a little more frequently, this is a nice touch that's gonna to help people to understand what they're doing and how they're going about moving these applications around. And while that's great for tablets, it also works in clamshell mode too. So as we flip over into clamshell and bring up the app launcher again, we actually see the same behavior here. So, oops. And let me grab an app and we see that same nice outline happen and you can just drag things. And again, that smaller kind of zoomed out look makes it so much easier to move these apps around. Instead of going across this full canvas here, we're in a much tighter space and making things a little bit faster to move around. But guys, that's really it for this feature. I think it's gonna go a long way to making dealing with your app tray on Chrome OS tablets and Chrome OS convertibles like this one, the Flex 5, a whole lot easier whenever you're just working with the touch screen. And it's a welcome addition, we think, to Chrome OS as a whole. But that's it for this one. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Go down there and hit that subscribe button. Make sure and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. And don't forget to hit that join button as well if you'd like to see all the cool stuff our members get like behind the scenes footage and custom emojis. Till next time, we'll see you.